Welcome back to another episode of Aoi. This is where I do a quick recap to remind myself what happened last time. But if you want to jump to the reaction, timestamp below. Last episode, Tachibana finally, finally woke up. It's been, it only took him like 22 episodes. But he's here. He's actually doing shit. How? I think the main thing was that he was inspired by Aoi and his determination to just pretty much just like always move forward and never give up. I haven't seen this side of Tachibana before. He's done. He does like a somersault backflip kick. It's probably one of the flashiest goals we've seen in this series so far actually gets a goal and he has his entire mentality back he can play after all so everything was just a mental block right things are looking pretty good for us until they start changing their strategy again and now they're about to score and one of the coolest part i think like tachibana turning the switch on was pretty cool but you know how in the episodes before that Kuruda, you know, the guy that doesn't open his eyes, he had like an argument with Togashi about how he's playing to go for pro when Togashi's saying, no, that kind of mentality is going to set you back. When it, when the time matters, you're going to pussy out and you won't play to win. And that was the case during that one skirmish where Kuruda kind of was on the sideline trying to get the ball out. He thinks he did, and then but Kaneda doesn't give up and says, fuck you. He, he kind of just like does a twisting maneuver saves the ball right through Kuruda's leg and gets a goal, right? That was pretty nuts. At the end of the episode, Kuruda comes in and saves the day at the cost of his health. So he slides, so Kaneda's about to get a goal, right? But Kuruda comes in out of nowhere, does a sliding defending attack. He saves the goal, but he runs into the goalpost. This is something Kuruda would never do. This isn't his character. Maybe something that Togashi said to him kind of like reached him. Maybe he thought that shit. Maybe I do have a me bad mentality. Maybe I am not playing to win. I'm playing to go pro. But what's the point of doing this if we're not going to win during this relegation match, right? Kuroda saves the day. I think he'll be okay. He's like kind of bleeding out the head. But he's, he's probably going to be fine. He's probably going to brush it off. He's probably going to walk it off, right? And Coach Fukuda is also watching. I think now that Coach is here watching, he said that you know, during this like little bit of intermission, there's only one player that can turn everything around to lift the mood up, and that's probably gonna be Aoi. This is the penultimate episode, meaning there is this, and then it's the finale. So I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna guess that Aoi's gonna do something, inspire the team. There's a really cool, maybe head turn attack with a little bit of coordination to get Fukuda excited about, oh damn, he can be the playmaker, right? Get an awesome goal, and then probably finale won't be the match unless like the first half will be and it'll be more like a wrap-up episode to kind of just like i don't know it's kind of awkward to kind of stop the story here but i guess it's, it's it'd be awkward anywhere else so we're probably gonna finish the match some kind of wrap up then season two announcement probably not but hey let's get started with today's episode what's up Annie? she noticed i was hoping that she would say this to togashi instead though actually He's out? Okay, I'm like, he's done. I thought he's like, I'm sorry, guys, he's dead. I hear that any cut to your head, even the minor cuts, there'll be a lot of blood, right? Kuroda was the one that was marking Kanada before. How are they gonna switch it up? Yee. Guys, 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 we should. Well, they don't really get along. Kimura, Nozomi coach is like, God fucking damn it. I haven't even entered the room and they're already like this. Hmm? What? Uh, okay. Oh! Kuroda's still in, baby. And he's still opening his eyes. <laughs> you know, the Kuroda that I knew from like three episodes ago that would talk about how he's all, you know, I'm gonna preserve my body, gotta think about the future. He would never do this, but... Clearly, he's changed. Okay. See, he's still talking shit like this, but I know that he de deep inside, he does respect Kuroda to an extent for doing this. <laughs> oh, he can fight back! You know what, Togashi, I don't think he has a right to say that right now. Kuroda is right. Come on, Togashi. Come on, say that you acknowledge him. Are you moving ahead, though? You're just shit-talking your teammates out of past grudges. Okay, 
Is this what Fukuda was talking about in the previous episode? The only person that can, like, you know, change things around in terms of team morale? In these 15 minutes. Oh, gosh, you're gonna... Okay, I saw that dot 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 in the subs, meaning I thought someone would interrupt and, like, be like, Shut up, Bowie! I'll never do that. Okay, let's go. I didn't expect, uh, you know, the person that Fukuda was talking about to be Nozomi, though. Uh-oh. Last time we met... No, we don't get to talk? Okay, we're gonna talk to Coach instead. Okay, she kicked us in the head, right? That's... That, and then... We haven't really talked to her after. Huh? He's saying stop trying to score? Okay, yeah, I... He's a playmaker, I know, but... He doesn't. No, he just... That shouldn't be the priority. They should take it. Without even meaning to. In the previous episode, we had the instinct saying, like, I want to score, right? He, there's a little bit of an like, internal monologue going, I will score. I still want to score, but... World stage. And if you can do this, we could go to the world stage then. Will you take me to the world stage? Yes, yes. If you play the way Fukuda wants you to, an aggressive playmaker that can score. Huh? There was the other word of... Uh, what was it? Rebellion? A rebellious... Uh, somebody that kind of like... Rebels against the status quo. That's what he's kind of... Telling him right now, isn't he? So what? What is it? You want me to listen to you, but then you're saying, but you you can go beyond my expectations. You don't have to just say what I I, I okay, whatever, coach. We'll figure something out. Hana, you gonna say something? Yeah, you gonna say something? What? Are you yeah, you're not. You're her, you're his number one fan, aren't you? Kick him in the head. <laughs> oh, no. Hana, you gonna say something? Right. Good luck. Alright. Okay, but based on the tone of that, it's... Hey, that's the title. That's the episode title. That's literally the episode title. Thanks, Hana, but based on the tone of her, uh... The delivery there, I, I think she's a little bit still pissed off at us. Part of me wants me... Like, wants uh, this match to go in a tie and then go to a shootout. We haven't seen a penalty kick shootout in this series just yet. Tachi- Oh, everybody's got the aura up right now. You know, whenever we see, like, that black background with the white aura stemming, that's kind of, like, telling us they're serious. They're really serious right now. <laughs> Too many yellow guard men. I guess they're really trying to position Togashi to be the one defenseman that does stay back while everybody kind of moves forward. He's the- Relative to- like, We're still gonna attack as a unit, but, like- Relative to everyone else, Togashi is the one that stays back. Hmm? Keep that delinquent fighting spirit as yours. Ooh. Oh, Nozomi gave him some validation. The coach that you look down upon is the one that's like rooting for you the most right now. I hate you, but, but I respect you as a fellow player. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I'll stay back, okay? So, I guess Togashi's gonna be the player to stay back while everyone else attacks. Relative, again, we can still push up, but relative to everyone else. For Nozomi, huh? Wow. <laughs> I hate you too, by the way. <laughs> God, there's a little bit of bromance going on here after they say, I hate you, but... You're an amazing player, by the way. You're the one that no, you're the only one that can do this. Yeah. Okay. They are in sync right now, though. Are you though? Ooh. That's a. I mean, kind of like a tackle. Not really. I use his physique there to just cut right in. Canada does have a pretty big physique too, but okay. I think that might be like a yellow card, but I guess not. Uh, they got over their differences. Nozomi kind of told them directly what to do, and now we're just... Okay. 
Again, Togashi stays back every time. He's right there on you. Hello. Enemy coach is getting worried. He's like, oh shit, things are not going well. These three has been working as a pretty good unit. Even though it's only been like three minutes of playtime, you know, but... Even he's thinking about that line too. Wow. Yeah. Just say it. Just say that you love each other, man. You, you, you have to be the best player I've ever played with. You gotta be the best player that I've ever played with. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. So this is gonna be like a reoccurring running gag, right? Into the future. They're just gonna hate each other, but they'll acknowledge each other and they'll play well together. Is, is Togashi giving Kuruta right now a lot of credit? Like saying, wow, you're very smart. He's kind of like... In Usually he just shits on them. So Kuruta's like, what the fuck happened to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Handle it after the match. But here's some water. Don't forget. Keep, keep, your, keep, keep yourself hydrated. I hate your guts, but you're the most amazing player. I hate your guts, but you're so amazing, too. I hate your guts, but you're so smart. Wow, all three sharing the same water bottle? You know, I think that's trio. Again, everybody respects each other. If we can just get beyond that, you know, middle school grudge. Run from what? From that position or... Oh, I'm, I'm predicting your every movement. I know exactly what you're gonna do. What's up? Oh. Yellow card. Oh! <laughs> get fucked. You gonna get a red if you keep this up. It's crazy. His vision is fucking nuts. More vivid and clearer. A better vision than before? Better how? It's just more clear. Sasuke is like, the fuck? Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be the Uchiha clan right now. Why isn't my eyes like I lighting up? Why are his eyes lighting up? Oh, he's moving. Oh? Oh? We're just like splitting? Which one? Give it to Aoi. Uh, Aoi. Just... He's got his eyes on right now. Someone mention it. The eye contact, right? Mm, no, he's saying Tachibana instead. What does that hand signal mean? Another player was there. I forgot. There were three of them. Okay, Otomo, you know what to do, right? So Tachibana and Aoi kind of split and Asari came right in the middle. And then passes right to Otomo into Aoi again? I don't know. Otomo scores? I don't know. Don't give me a cliffhanger. Don't give me a cliffhanger. I swear to fucking God. Otomo scores? I'm down? Okay. I mean... It's the it's the game tying match. It's the game tying goal, right? It's it's not that important, right? I'm, it is important. It is important. I wanted Aoi to score there because like he was kind of popping off at the end. He wasn't. I mean, it looked like the momentum was building for him to do something, right? It's like his eyes were lighting up. He was finally moving up. Fukuda was having a little bit of monologue. Of, yes. What does your eyes see? Show me. And then Oto was like, ah, uh, fuck it. I'll just score myself. It's the game tying goal. We're two two now. I'm sure in the next episode, the finale, Aoi's probably gonna score. Unless mm, the enemy team scores once more. No, I think Aoi's gonna score. And then it's gonna be like the dagger. And then it's gonna be the end of the match. And then there'll be some kind of like ending dialogue of Canada and everyone else. Just to, I don't know, uh, have closure for him. Maybe he'll get a mutual understanding of what he did wrong, what he did right, and kind of move forward. Maybe he'll stay salty. I don't really know, but that's the episode. It's nice to see the middle school trio. The uh, Kanada, Kuro uh, sorry, Kuroda... Actually, Takeshima and Togashi, right? There's so many fucking characters named, god damn it. They're getting over it, you know? And they're able to just, like, respect each other. Even though they have to first say, I hate your guts. But you're amazing. You know, they got a little bit of bromance going on right now. And if a defensive line can act like this, then the fullbacks can go up. Asari and Aoi was able to go up. And I didn't expect Otomo to be the one scoring there. I, I want to see Otomo's reaction after this, right? But Otomo didn't seem to have a reaction. He's like... Oh. Uh, I, I, I guess I got a goal. Ho holy shit. Is that his first goal, I think? Maybe? I think he's gotten the goal before, but this is pretty good. The momentum's on our side. The enemy coach is already looking desperate, right? That's a good thing, meaning we're going to... I mean, we knew that, like, Esperion wasn't going to lose. Like, how, we're going to get relegated by his no names? Like, come on. Like, we're going to fucking win, right? We're going to win the match, and then we're probably just going to wrap the season up with some kind of... I don't know. 
maybe set up for season two arc, but I doubt that season two announcement's gonna come anytime soon. But anyways, if you stick around this long, if you do enjoy my reaction, do you already know what I'm gonna say? Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you want another video immediately after this one, it helps you to like a push in my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.